Hi, hi and welcome. And uh, what I'll do is I'll be slightly louder so that I'm audible because there's a lot of uh, background sound. I am not at my usual uh, work location. So what is the task at hand? The task at hand is to inspect this site. So inspecting what and for what I'll just leave that hanging somewhere in the cloud. So what, what we basically want to do is we want to inspect this site and we land upon this particular site and we see it is whosecode.com home. Uh, so somebody said that uh, you know we should end up using uh, uh, certain R packages. I, uh, I've used some of those R packages earlier. Uh, I am not sure if this time I'll get the same uh, results. So I'm going to try that again. And uh, of course, uh, because um, I reached out to some other friends, they said yes, uh, they, they got decent results with those packages. So maybe I'll also give it a go, just as a learning experience. And uh, before I do any of that, what I have tried to do is, uh, what's uh, recommended by a lot of folks, uh, to go ahead and trace the... Uh, trace the you know elements and try and understand as to what is available on the HTML page so if I were to uh, do that and if I were to use uh, the Chrome extension for the selector gadget the CSS selector gadget what I'm getting I'm not very sure about so the, it's it's giving me some spans it is giving me uh, you know uh, certain other classes I'm not necessarily aware if this is correct and the selector gadget I, uh, I I'm sure it's a, a pretty decent tool but I've somehow never got the uh, hang of it and it takes a lot of time for me to go ahead and you know actually do some uh, hit and trial over here so the best option that I've uh, always uh, looked at is uh, to use Chrome and uh, go ahead and look at the source directly now, even if a website is uh, going ahead and uploading a table uh, like this particular table over here, uh, which let me show you over here. So that this particular table, it's getting uploaded uh, through uh, JavaScript. So it's not necessarily um, getting uploaded. Uh, it, it's not necessarily part of the HTML, so to say, or is getting, uh, you know, uh, uh, there are a couple of JavaScript uh, uh, functions which are updating it dynamically so uh, it might not be possible to extract information uh, from this particular page on this particular landing page which is still not here or is uh, uh, let's say uh, located somewhere else on their servers and probably at some point in time will get uh, fetched upon to this particular table and served over here so that is one thing so that is that is one uh, slight challenge the other challenge that i have been um, uh, encountering recently is got to do with secure sites so this https uh, is not very friendly to me so i have tried couple of other things uh, which i can't share here but that doesn't necessarily uh, i don't know i am i'm not very sure that could be one uh, reason for this uh, but i'm not aware so anyway, anyways, so let, let's look at this page's uh, HTML first. So how does this work? We've gone ahead and we've gone into Chrome and we've gone into the source and over there we've gone into the home and okay fine. So we are looking at uh, the source code, uh, the HTML and the JavaScript and the CSS and absolutely everything what have you. Uh, so you keep on going through this you get various things so wherever you have uh, some kind of a jquery function you have this dollar appearing so you can make out okay fine that's the jquery uh, you have uh, javascript so of course there are tags there are script tags which are there uh, then similarly you can you know uh, keep going through this there's a lot of things uh, which are there which are not available in uh, certain static pages certain static websites those don't have this uh, so whatever I can understand and whatever I can kind of share I will like say this one is a button so it says button class button being used for closing something and this is the resource locator over there so 
you could probably and that is how it shows so that is what the button looks like uh, on the HTML page so it's basically a cross sign then there are certain Google tags which are there so Google Analytics is there and there is there's a whole lot of things uh, very interesting uh, code actually and not that I am an expert on this but extremely interesting uh, then over here uh, dynamically created URLs so account in four frames so if a person is logged in uh, they go ahead and load this particular function so these are chained statements uh, chained jQuery statements over here and uh, also what I found very interesting was uh, there was a function down here wherein there was a for each and yeah this one so for there are, there are to tournament groups which are there along with which they've again changed and they bind uh, activation finished. So if there is uh, some kind of activation which has been triggered, then for each function, and I think this parent has got to do with the again a HTML tag if I'm not wrong. It has got a class selected, and then this is what they're querying. They, they, if this otherwise this so again it's some kind of a if else loop my javascript is really pathetic I'm just a beginner here so uh, but okay so you have some tournament group which has got selected and according to that tournament group sorry within that tournament group there is an attribute uh, which is of course the uh, where you go ahead and link it uh, the uh, you go ahead and give it a HTML resource or a HTML reference. Uh, okay, so and as you can see, I'm offline right now, so I'm not connected to the net. So this is already got uh, the fun part is it's already uh, the, all this HTML and all this JavaScript is already uh, in my uh, Chrome browser. So it's already been say cached or say in my memory. It's been stored in my memory. So what is also suggested and in couple of uh, uh, posts around the internet is that if you are able to get all of this uh, HTML JavaScript as such uh, into a particular variable especially in Python then you can go ahead and uh, get more information out of it. Now, I don't want to be very very specific I don't want to do that you can get more information out of it but right now what we want to do is I want to look at uh, say one particular player say Messi I go here I see a different URL which is being uh, shown down here so if, if you notice it says whoscode.com slash players slash four times one nine and show and then Lionel Messi so this URL I uh, want to uh, look at for whatever reason. So let me see if I can find this URL somewhere in this code. There's a whole lot of code. There's almost like, I think almost six, uh, 1600 plus lines of code. So fine, I get this URL. So the, this is the URL that I was looking for. And it is here. Uh, sorry, what happened? So this is the one and it shows me exactly what I want. It's not a continuous URL so there is something which is happening which says player link and sorry uh, the class player link and within that class player link there is this particular URL which is again uh, this is the name which is displayed to us. In certain cases the name which is displayed and the URL which is there are different so there could be a different uh, like we call it the slug uh, for the uh, 
uh, slug could be used as the uh, you know the last uh, this thing of the URL in place of the complete name. Uh, so this is extremely interesting. So this is what we are looking at. So for each and every player, there is a specific URL which is there, and uh, that's about it. Thanks a lot.